Okay guys, today I'm gonna be reviewing Apigenin. Right here, I have Nootropics Depot 50 milligram capsules, and I have to say, Apigenin, hands down, you guys don't even have to watch the rest of the video, hands down is the best sleep aid I've ever tried. It's also the newest sleep aid that I've tried, so I don't know if you guys have seen my last video about the three best sleep supplements. Those are all very good as well, but Apigenin by far knocks every other sleep aid I've ever tried out of the park. So whether that be Magnolia Bark, ZMA, Oleomide, Sustanch, all of them, Apigenin beats it by far. It's no wonder why Andrew Huberman actually puts Apigenin in his sleep cocktail, along with things like magnesium, uh, there's some other stuff in there, but I just take Apigenin by itself now, guys, and it works really well for me. So I'm gonna give you my regimen, how I take it, and the benefits that I've gotten from it. You wanna get the 50 milligrams version of Nootropics Depot Apigenin. They have a 200 milligram version out there, but it's actually too strong. And what happens if you take too much Apigenin is it does the opposite. Instead of put you to sleep, it'll stimulate you, and you don't want that because you'll be up all night. So get the 50 milligram version, and how I dose it is I take it at night on an empty stomach before I eat dinner. I do eat dinner kind of close to bed so don't do that but I take it on an empty stomach so it affects you more you feel it more and usually within like an hour really before that I'll start to feel just like more peaceful I feel like winding down more with apigenin I actually do get into my deep sleep cycle and how you know that is if you start having dreams so I kind of stopped having dreams recently but after using apigenin I've been having really vivid dreams again which tells me that I'm getting into like my deep REM cycle which is where we have our crazy dreams at. I also like it because it doesn't really make me feel hungover the next day like some other supplements like ZMA or Sustanch would do I will say with apigenin I take it every other day because it does have a really long half-life I heard the half-life is like over 24 hours or something which basically means it stays in your system for a pretty long time how I dose it is I dose it every other night and it also kind of drags into the next night so even when I don't take it like the second night I still will be able to get into a pretty good deep sleep along with this I've noticed apigenin I don't know if it's because I'm getting better sleep but I feel like my mood has been boosted recently a lot of times I'll wake up literally with a smile on my face maybe again it's from me actually being able to sleep good the night before but yeah I've noticed that I feel really good to the point where I feel happy when I wake up on the nights where I take apigenin the only con that I've noticed with it is that sometimes I'll wake up with a really dry mouth I don't know if it does something Thing, like dries out my tongue or dries out my mouth in the middle of the night but that's not really a super huge deal because I just wake up and drink some water besides that I do recommend apigenin out of 10 for a sleep supplement I would give it a 9 out of 10 no side effects for the most part no drawbacks try it out guys let me know how you like it thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you guys liked it make sure you comment down below have you guys used apigenin are you thinking about using it um, let me know in the comments down below guys like the video and make sure you hit that subscribe button I come out with videos like this every week. Also, my link is down in the description You can schedule a call with me and we can figure out a specific biohacking regimen specifically to your needs So hit that link down on the bio if you'd like to schedule a call to talk to me